Right now we're seeing a little bit of the sun peeking through the clouds and of course we all know at that time when the heating of the day is at its peak and we have storms on the horizon that sunshine can look a little bit ominous but stay with us we'll track these storms with you in real time so spotty showers have been developing out ahead of the main line so you may be impacted by some showers in areas like I-65 and Hoover Pelham Alabaster as well looking at just spotty showers for now the main line of showers and thunderstorms is beginning to take shape now from portions of Tennessee from Memphis and down that I-55 corridor but really starting to move into Tupelo I think within the next 90 minutes likely so by about 12 30 1 o'clock in the afternoon that warmth out ahead of it feeding it certainly temperature in Montgomery is at 80 degrees it's 70 Birmingham the winds check out these gusty winds I think that some of these gusty winds that we're seeing right now can be quite ominous and start to push around all the Halloween decorations so you know if you're in and you're at home and you still have some of those uh, little pumpkins and you know witches brooms on the front porch why don't you go ahead and put those inside the house because they may be in your neighbor's porch. That timeline that we're looking at is between one and five for our West Alabama County. So Hamilton, Fayette, Jasper, Tuscaloosa, Greensboro, Livingston. There's still a potential for isolated tornadoes. We have a couple of weather features, an upper low and a surface low, and all that means is we have some spinning in the atmosphere and there could be some spinning during the peak daytime heating hours. So it's almost like boiling a pot and adding all of those synoptic ingredients on top of it. Between 4 p.m. and 8 p.m., if you live in Coleman County, Jefferson County, Bibb County, Chilton County, Shelby, St. Clair, into uh, Blunt and, and Etowah, this is your timeline, 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., same situation. Now, these storms will weaken with time, so after 5 o'clock, we will start to see a weakening trend, but there still may be a couple of isolated severe storms happening. And because tornadoes are now a threat, and we just saw that this particular storm system has a history of producing tornado force winds, we are now on alert. So this means everyone will likely need to make a backup plan because storms are, are on our back porch now. Two o'clock in the afternoon, the future cast shows it moving into areas of our state, but between four o'clock and five o'clock, this purple that you see here on the future cast, this is indicative of rainfall rates three to six in, um, inches per hour. And not to say we're gonna receive three to six inches, but it's gonna be pouring down rain, gusty winds, it's gonna happen really fast and likely within about two hours of where you live. So this afternoon, whatever you have planned, you'll likely be impacted by the showers through noon, but be on alert by two o'clock in the afternoon. Set those alerts on your uh, WBTM 13 app. No matter what your location is, you'll always be able to get those alerts. Beyond that, the alert day that we have in the forecast for today, I think the non-thunderstorm winds to start will be a pretty big deal. We'll continue to monitor this though throughout the day, so be sure to download our app in the meantime. We'll be